All right, folks, uh, Loki episode four, full spoilers, a lot to get into. Welcome to the SF Combo Co. This is our Loki after show. And just uh, so you know, this is full spoilers. So if uh, you haven't seen the episode, go watch the episode, episode four. Come back and see us, uh, review it, kind of talk about it, and kind of you know, speculate on shit that's happening in the future. Uh, I am Ray Doomzilla. Like I said, this is SF Combo Co. We do comic book reviews, we do uh, movie reviews, toy reviews. We have a weekly show, SF Company Hour, every week on Tuesdays. Uh, that might change because summer's crazy and people are working and it's all all everything's all up in the air. Uh, but uh, joining today as always, Sarah, how you doing? I'm excellent. A little little hot over here on the East Coast, but yeah. you know, otherwise really good. How are you doing? Uh, we're we're living. We're living, living La Vida Loki. Living La Vida Loki. Uh, I see you wearing a sweatshirt. That's interesting. Uh, well, I had my shirt on from last night's show, so I was like, ah, I got to put some, throw some on. So I was like, ah, well, I don't want to look like wearing the same shirt over and over again. It's actually pretty cloudy over here, so it's uh, yeah, it's nice. It's, it's normal San Francisco weather. Uh, and uh, Nip, how you doing? The gold dirty oh, bastard himself. Uh, I'm good, man. A great episode. Uh, best episode out of all the Marvel property so far on Disney Plus, I would say. Wow. Well, yeah. So well, I'm already gonna go on. A record wow. say, I'm giving it a ten. Let's give. I'm giving it a ten already. Wow, already. Wow. Okay. All right. Wow. <laughs> uh, big spoiler behind you right there. We'll definitely be talking about that. There's a lot to unpack with that uh, post credit scene. Our first post credit scene of the series. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's jump into this. Uh, actually, uh, yeah. Uh, well, Sarah, what do you think of this episode? Uh, real quick before we get into the review. I loved it. Yeah. I only got like four and a half hours of sleep last night and I was oh. up and so excited. It <laughs> answered some of our questions. It, I mean, yes, I'm a big fan. The cinematography was great. Like first post credit scene. We know I love a good post credit scene. Uh, I'm, I can't wait for next week. I'm so excited. Yeah. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. I, I, I was, I was, I was sleeping okay. Then I got a message from Nip and he was saying it was cold as fuck. So I had to wake up and watch this. <laughs> you ruined my night's sleep. Thanks a lot. <laughs> priorities. Priorities. Uh, Sign in review. All right. So uh, let's jump into this episode. Uh, yeah. Excellent episode. This is, yeah, I, I would have to say this is my favorite of the year so far. Uh, um, Oh yeah, of the whole FCU show so far, I don't know. I gotta think about that one for a minute, but this is definitely the best episode of the uh, the season. Uh, so we get um, we get to uh, start off the episode with Young Selvi uh, getting arrested. Um, this looks like an alternate timeline of Asgard. Uh, they come in and uh, the yeah they come in and pull her in, and uh, she uh, she goes through the same process that Loki went uh, through when he first got arrested. And it's kind of sad seeing like a little girl go through this. It's one thing seeing a, a grown person go through this, but then just seeing a, a little girl that's just playing with her toys, getting kidnapped and put through this like fucked up process. Uh, pretty, that's pretty, it's pretty hard hitting. And you can see why Selvi's the way she is, like, you know, being uh, put through this and being on the run for uh, all this time. Uh, so uh, we get to uh, see the timekeepers. We actually get to see them. And you already know, like, once you see them, there's this very ominous. So you know, this is, uh, this is some shit going on with them. Yeah. So yeah, what, uh, Sarah, what'd you think of this opening? Oh, poor little Selvi, man. Oh my goodness. She like, uh, I, I, I was just thinking like, I wonder if this is one of those like time loop sort of things where it's like, she might not have ever become the, the, like, I'm guessing that they're going after her because she, like, they know that she's going to be destructive to the sacred timeline. And so they're kind of like, nip it in the bud early that's like my headcanon here so and what's ironic is that like i'm guessing that this is the thing that puts her on that path to destroying the sacred timeline yeah. um again just headcanon i don't actually know if that's true it could just be that i don't know suddenly her being a girl or playing with toys was like a huge variance and like how can we let this happen i don't know um but yeah, poor little girl. Like, how resourceful is she? Way to go! And then the second you see the timekeepers, I was like, it's the Wizard of Oz. Yeah, it's smoke and it's lights. Like, it's yeah. the Wizard of Oz. It's yeah. the man behind the, the curtain. Yeah. Um. But I, for some reason, I was still surprised at the end. Really? I don't know why. Because they started talking, and I was like, 
maybe i had maybe. a feeling there were gonna be like some puppets or like some kind of like yeah some kind of like something fake i had a feeling that was gonna be that was gonna happen for sure now the yeah. the one in the middle didn't that sound like loki to me, it sounded like I thought it was a Loki because I, I thought for a second hmm. they might be real. And I thought, oh, is that like a real? Lo is that a Loki in the middle? Yeah, like Loki the middle guy talking like an older Loki. Maybe they used a uh, uh, Hilson's voice. Maybe huh? yeah, it sounded similar. Sounded I similar. didn't look at the credits. Did anybody look at the credits? I didn't. I never do. <laughs> I just saw the credits when they uh, they had the uh, the the, uh, the Lokis at the end after the, the post credit. Uh so yeah, so what'd you think of uh, the time creepers? Uh, time, uh, the time creepers. <laughs> uh, Nip, what, what do you think of that reveal? Uh, that uh, see, actually, you get to see them. Yeah, it was cool. Um, you know, we had been talking about it. It kind of played out the way we were thinking it was going to play out, uh, and I, I kind of still am going to go with. Uh, on the Mephisto type of thing, where we're gonna go with Kang, the big bad. Hopefully, we're not wrong. Hopefully, not we're not getting teased. But yeah. I mean, all the signs are pointing. There's more evidence for Kang. Yeah. Uh, now than ever yeah. um and like we had we'd been talking about these these time timekeepers are not real we we knew this mm. um just animatronics disneyland ride type things uh <laughs> it was good to see them get their head chopped off uh, we're kind of just jumping around but this is one of them episodes where you kind of just yeah, yeah everything is, is kind of everywhere yeah it's definitely like yeah this is like they jump around to like you know the you know the conversation with Morbius and uh, was it was her name Raven Raven Raven. Uh, so we get uh, we get C two we find out C twenty uh, killed herself, and that uh, seems very suspicious. Um, we get uh, back onto Lamentus, and we get uh, the, the, you know they have a good a good little uh, back and forth about you know maybe a de uh, Loki's destined to lose, uh, and uh, and and basically they they share like a little moment where they're like holding hands and they I guess you know they were saying that they, they could be romantic or they just they found love within you know finding another person such as themselves so it's not i don't know if it's romantic but you know that they're definitely having some kind of moment that creates a next um, a nexus event because that's not supposed to you're not supposed to i guess not supposed to love yourself i guess oh <laughs> subliminal messaging there yeah, you well uh, you got a lot of the alone stuff like oh you're not alone so i'm, I'm guessing like i'm i'm gonna i guess a theory is that like if all the Lokis can actually come together, they can take down the TVA. I'm guessing mm -hmm. that's what they're going with. So when, when you see the love inside of these two Lokis, it's like sparking something in the Nexus. I don't, we don't get a lot of answers as far as the Nexus is concerned, but um, it's definitely something there, something big there. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you, what'd you think about that, Sarah? Sorry, I'm like thinking about the whole alone situation now. Which part are we talking <laughs> about? The, <laughs> uh, the, the jumping nexus. around and like the their, their love created a nexus of it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I do. Wow, great call, Nip. There were a lot of references to Loki being alone, and I, this is maybe the first time that they both haven't felt that. Yeah, yeah. Like they finally found somebody like uh, they like, that like, totally like, gets it. Yeah. It yeah. is on their side. That's very interesting. And Mobius so, was kind of pointing towards that because he kept on like swaying it towards like you're not alone. You can be good. So I don't. Right. I don't know. There's a lot of ways this stuff could go, but it's very interesting. I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah. yeah, I think that's. I think you're dead on, and um, I, I don't know that it's romantic. I kind of really want it to be. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they, they, they they have good chemistry. Like they would. They, they do have good they chemistry. Have good <laughs> yeah, and Loki was kind of like he was clearly worried about her. You know, it was like kind of sweet seeing that from our, yeah. our god and goddess of mischief. Yeah, so you can actually care about somebody else. Um, yeah, okay, go nip. I, I don't know. I'm 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 processing. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, there's a lot of shit going on. It's great though. It's it's like it can go any direction, and I'd be happy at this point. Like, yeah, it's just yeah. well written. Everything's man. I'm loving this show. Yeah, like the well, acting is really great, and you know the action is very, you know the it's the way it's shot, the music, everything is really kind of hitting on all points, and this is kind of what you want from the MCU shows. Like you know they want you want this like to kind of everything to kind of come together and like make sense. And uh, it's good because a lot of people were complaining last week, and I don't understand why. I, I yeah, like I last week's people, episode. Yeah, a lot of people were complaining. Like a lot of YouTubers I follow, even people I was talking to about the episode, like, ah, I was kind of underwhelmed. I was kind of, I was like, ah, I thought they, I thought it was a great episode. I thought it was like great character building in that last episode. So, 
Uh, you People know, love to complain. It makes them feel cool. They had to complain about one episode at least. They, they yeah. can't complain. I I would find it hard to complain about this episode. What could you yeah, possibly complain about? Stop, stop watching if you complain about this one. Like this show is not for you. If this is this, if this one pissed uh, pissed you off, uh, so they get recaptured, uh, and uh, Loki tells uh, Morbius, uh, "Yeah, you guys are all variants," uh, and he, he kind of gives them that. Uh, that little uh, piece of tidbit that kind of plants the seed in uh, Mobius's head. Uh, and then we get um, uh, Loki trapped in like a little time loop and we get to see Sif uh, in, uh, in can- we haven't seen her in Canon since Thor dark world, but she did show up on agents of shield, which is not Canon anymore. So uh, her last official MCU appearance, Marvel was legends, world. Marvel legends. Yeah. <laughs> Marvel legends. Uh, I thought that was great to see her again. I thought she was uh, supposedly she's going to be in uh, love and thunder. Uh, she's going to show back up. Yeah, I kind of thought she was she was kind of an underused character. So it was cool to see her coming back and forth. Uh, I thought that was great. Just her like coming, kicking his ass for cutting his her, uh, her hair and kind of Loki kind of like coming to like finally admitting why he did it. And, you know, I need attention. And, I'm you know, I'm, I'm you know, I do things like this for attention. And just I thought that was a great yeah. little reveal. Got uh, the Doctor Strange vibes like when he was uh, messing around with Dormammu. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we uh, we. Uh, B15 has memories. She gets, uh, once, uh, I guess when, uh, Sylvie uh, touches you and enchants you, kind of unlocks some of your memories that's already there. So she's, uh, she was a big part of this episode, kind of, uh, uh, going back and forth, uh, with that. Uh, so yeah, Sarah, what'd you think of that? Kind of, uh, kind of uh, that reveal of the B15. I think she's like one of my new favorite characters. I, I didn't really like her at first. So I was like, okay, so we've got this like militant lady. Whatever, but like the fact that she kind of came to all of this sort of on her own and just by listening, you know, she like recognized what happened at the uh, superstore. And yeah. then the second she heard something that made sense of that, she was like, oh, clearly I'm mistaken here. And like was able to just change her entire, like she was one of the main guards <laughs> like the way that she was able to just like oh right i've been wrong and uh and flip was awesome like i love her character now she's so interesting um and yeah i'm really curious to see what happens as all the variants start to find out you know because i'm assuming they're gonna just reset them and they're, they're probably gonna either change bodies or something but still be like in the worker force i don't think they're dead i think they just get like or yeah, well, well, they yeah, they got they get mind wiped for sure because they don't remember their yeah, past. yeah, like because you know, all them. But I'm assuming like, they have to change physical appearance too, because otherwise, like people would recognize them at the or TVA. They, or they just mind wipe everyone and everyone, everyone at the same time. It's a reset, and that's why you know that's why that cat that cat didn't know what the hell a uh, fish was. Like he was like, oh, I don't know what a fish is, so they just get reset over and over again. Uh, yeah, I get yeah. like some like uh, Matrix vibes from this, like uh, mm-hmm. kind of awakening, like when Neo gets awakened, mm-hmm. like this last scene where you see Loki meeting all the variants, like these ones have all been awoken already. And I don't, I don't know what's going to happen with him. Like if it's a rallying point for, for him to come there and he's the one like the Supreme Loki that's going to lead him. I don't know. Just get kind of like some Matrix vibes from from this series in a whole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we get a great uh, back and forth with Loki and Mobius. Kind of like you know, he lo- they're both kind of like mani- trying to manipulate each other with lies. And uh, you know, he tells uh, he tells uh, her, uh, Mobius tells Loki that she's dead, Sylvie's dead, and you just see like a little tear from Loki's uh, face. Like, oh, that's that's fine. Like he, you know, he's trying to fight back the, <laughs> the tears from that. Uh, Nip, what do you think of that scene, man? The Mobius and uh, Loki scene. Yeah, it was cool. Like you said, they're going back and forth with each other. You could tell uh, Mobius was just like fed up with Loki at this point. He was talking a lot of shit to him, yeah. uh, trying, but still trying to motivate him a certain way. But yeah, I think at that point Mobius was just kind of done with him. It, yeah. it was it was a good scene. I like like I like the I like the chemistry between those two actors. Uh, yeah. They're both on point. Good dialogue. It was solid. No yeah. complaints. Yeah, we get Mobius and uh, Mobius and uh, I always forget her name. Ravana, 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 Ravana. Ravana. I think it's Ravana. Yeah. Nirvana, Nirvana. Oh. Yeah, and so Nirvana we get a scene with Nirvana. Nirvana. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so we get a scene with uh, Mobius and her, kind of like uh, you know, filling out the final paperwork and like, oh yeah, everything's fine now, and 
uh, like Loki planted that seed in Mobius's head. Like, oh, this is there's something up with this. So Mobius is kind of a curious character already. He's already kind of like, in, in, you know, kind of he's kind of already suspecting some shit already. So, what do you think of that scene, sir? I went back and forth with Ravana this whole time because, like, the first time they see the timekeepers, it does seem like she believes that somebody's there that she's talking to and like getting orders from or whatever. But then when the head gets chopped off at the end, you know, to jump ahead a little bit, she doesn't seem bothered by it. She didn't. Yeah, see me, like she, I didn't get that. That was kind of weird too. Yeah, she was. Uh, yeah, like she so. Was, she's definitely. Yeah, part she, of it. She's yeah. Definitely, yeah, she definitely, definitely like, seems to be the yeah. one in on it. But then I'm like, well, why were you faking it this whole time? It's probably just. Yeah, what would be the point of her going down there and talking to them then? Because they did Maybe. show a scene where she was talking to them. Last episode, or was it this episode? Or she it was, was this a, episode. Oh, it was early in this episode. Yeah, so but she went down there by herself to talk to them. So, like, what would be the point of she's that? Ta- she's talking to the man behind the curtain. She's talking. Oh yeah. To- yeah, like, she's talking. Miss to- Minutes. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Miss both, <Mephisto>? <laughs> both computers, Miss Minutes. I'm telling you. She she hops around. She does her own thing. Then she made some robots that looked really intimidating to to do uh, her <laughs> evil bidding. So Morbius steals the device. Uh, the, he, he does a little bait and switch with her device, and kind of see the uh, C20s debriefing, and kind of mm-hmm. like seeing like, oh, she's you know saying, oh, I have memories, I can remember shit, I was there, you know, and and uh, it, it get, gets cut off. So Morbius is like, all right, shit's going down. Uh, so he goes to like kind of release uh, Loki, uh, and then uh, yeah, we get a little battle, and then uh, we get uh, Morbius uh, gets uh, pruned. Uh, I, I, yeah, he I, we're definitely going to see him again. Like he's definitely not not gone for good. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna, as we can see, though, just because was, he- was that intentional? Like, did he know that was going to happen, or because it seemed like he didn't really care? Like, you think he'd be smarter than that just to go there? Like, wouldn't they have like, I don't know? He, he probably knew that they were going to be waiting for him, and yeah, he but was he, so I, calm. Like, he probably didn't think she was going to do that to him because you know they had a, a little, you know, because they're they besties. Had, yeah, they had like yeah, yeah but he was already not buying her bullshit when he left the, and he already knew the truth. I don't know. I think possibly he maybe he knew. I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, so yeah, we get yeah. So a, a Mor- a Morpheus, Morbius gets pruned, uh, and we uh, we get they get captured again, and we get uh, we get to meet the timekeepers. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, what you what you think of the, uh, the look of the timekeepers, Sarah? They kind of looked like weird lizards to me. I was watching it on my laptop, reptilians. Like, while I was, yeah, they looked they looked kind of weird. I don't. I didn't love that design but i did like the entire ambiance of the room yeah the color like it gave it it gave smoke. a creepy vibe all the smoke all the lights and i think there was like maybe up lighting or something where they were a little bit in shadow and mm-hmm. i liked that um did they have red eyes is that right i think they yeah. did Some, yeah. something glowed yeah they did have red eyes at least one of them did i think yeah they definitely didn't seem like all-knowing peaceful leaders that yeah. just want the best for everyone. Yeah, they're yeah they're shady as hell. We are, yeah, we, we see that. Um, yeah. yeah. So actually, when they showed up, though, I was like, "Crap, were we wrong? Are they really?" Yeah, a split <laughs> second, I was like, "Are these dudes real?" Like, nah, I was like, "No, nah, these guys are not." I knew there was some kind of some fishy about the whole thing. Yeah, it was just it, it just it was just too yeah just too stale. Something, <laughs> something was up for sure. Uh, so we get we get a little battle. We get B fifteen freeze them. Uh, she wants uh, she wants she knows that. Uh, they're they're on the wrong side, so she frees him. Uh, we get a little battle with the uh, with the um, with Loki and Selvi kind of kicking ass uh, with uh, against uh, like little the little guards and such, uh, the TVA guards. And so we get uh, the big reveal. But where did she go? She didn't even like help. She just like let him in, and then she just like walked away. Did she get pruned, or did she uh, she just walk away, or did she get knocked out? I don't remember. I think she just like they just like cut cut her out and like. You don't or, see what happened. I assume she just walked away. Or like she she's... got knocked out or something. There was a bunch of bodies on the floor. Maybe she got knocked out or something. Uh, I think she would want to Maybe she help. just didn't make the cut. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe her choreography I, just wasn't as good as the Loki's. I kind of feel like she just was like, I'm going to like let you guys get it started, but I don't want to totally go against the TVA. <laughs> like, I don't. Yeah. I didn't get that. I, I got to rewatch this Hedging episode. Hedging your bets. There's a lot of shit to go down. You got to rewatch that fucking episode again. Also, I loved how they gave Selby like, 10 guards or whatever, and they gave Loki like two. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, that's right. Like a, he, was insulted all... by that. he was insulted by that. Yeah. Too. Was She's clearly a better fighter, though, so. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. 
That checks yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we uh, we get the discovery, uh, the big discovery. Uh, uh, I think is it Sylvie the one that throws the the, the sword at the, the timekeeper? Uh, and yeah, I believe it was her. Yeah, she yeah, gunned so him. She throws the sword, gun, gun him, and we get the reveal that uh, it's a robot. It's a robot head. Uh, so we get uh, yeah, you get the. So what do you think of that uh, reveal, Mip? I mean, yeah, for the split second, I thought they possibly could be real, but then, like, you know, you, you get the Wizard of Oz vibes, like I think Sarah mentioned, and he knew that they're not real, so it was no big surprise. Um, they looked cool. I, I wonder who made them. Like, I guess Kang has the technology to do that. Yeah, or Dr. Doom. He, he likes to make uh, robots, so. <laughs> but it, it was cool. I mean, anticlimactic, but it was still executed well. Not like... Yeah. Some of the other stuff in the other uh, Marvel shows. I yeah. guess Winter Soldier. <laughs> we knew it was coming and it wasn't well executed, I guess. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. this is like, yeah, we knew it was coming, but I thought it was, yeah, I thought the, the way they shot it and the way they kind of like revealed it, it was pretty good. Yeah, I agree. I actually thought it was like the opposite of anticlimactic. I was sitting there going, how did they trick me? Like, I called this, we already talked about this, and yet somehow when the heads chopped off, I still found myself like, oh, it's a robot. Like, how? I don't know. Um, yeah, I thought they did such a good job with like making us think for just a second that maybe they were real, because they're talking, they're responding, like, yeah. um, which we shouldn't be surprised by. Miss Minutes does the same thing. She's also AI, but anyways. Um, yeah, I I was I was fully into it. I couldn't believe I, they got me to gasp at something that we have already been talking about for like two weeks. Yeah, yeah the good. last five minutes of this episode were like twists and turns and just Very like intense, yeah. mind fucks kind of and yeah. great battles, great great little action scene, great uh, lighting. You know, the the lighting oh, in the yeah. fight in the fight scenes was good. You get was like some smoke in there. Yeah. Just it, it was just dope. I, I was feeling yeah. it. Yeah, those uh, well, those stairs call the ones that like go to nowhere. Like I forgot the the, the painter that used to do it. Uh, with the, oh. the pen, pendant stairs or something like that, where it's like stairs to nowhere. They did that kind of uh, in. Uh, they've you've seen them before, like the stairs that yeah. are continuous stairs, like kind of, yeah, like, like time loops and shit. So it, it was kind of like the background was kind of designed like that. That was pretty. I cool. mean, like kind of like some Star Wars scene, like a Snoke area kind of yeah. something like mm-hmm. that. But better than that. Uh, so, no, yes, no. <laughs> uh, so Loki gets pruned. Uh, so uh, he get, he gets uh, that, that's how the uh, the pretty much the episode ends. Uh, uh, pretty pretty. We kind of you know Loki's not going to go out like that. Uh, so we get uh, finally get a post credit scene. This is our first post credit. We've had like little like voices and stuff. Right, uh, Miss Minutes was talking like at one the first episode or some. Uh, Sarah pointed out. Yeah. Uh, so we get the uh, Lokis. We get all the Lokis. Uh, the the uh, so we get. Um, Oh, I can't remember. Whoa, whoa, wrong one. There you go. Uh, so yeah, right there. We so we get uh, young Loki right there. That's you know, from the comics. We get the comic accurate uh, 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 Loki, which is I marked out for a uh, big time. We get the little crocodile Loki, which could be a, a reference to uh, Thor, uh, 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 Throg, which is basically a Thor, a, a frog Thor. Uh, so that might be his like equivalent or whatever. And we get uh, uh, Black Loki. <laughs> uh, so, uh, with, a, with a, a version of a um, Majorner, like a, a different version. So I guess that's a Loki that is worthy. Uh, uh, but I definitely marked out for um, uh, for uh, old 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 man uh, comic accurate Loki right there. That's pretty awesome that they uh, they threw him in there. Uh, he, uh, uh, Richard E. Grant, great actor too. Cause a lot of people are speculating that he was going to be an older version of Loki because it kind of just makes sense when you see him. He's like he looks like an older version of Loki. Uh, so yeah, that's a, a big 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 time post credit scene. Uh, yeah, I, I love seeing the comic accurate Loki. That's that's uh, that mark that marked me out like big time for sure. Uh, so uh, Sarah, what'd you think of this post credit scene? I didn't even see the alligator until just now. <laughs> it's, a croc- it's a crocodile. It's a crocodile. I'm sorry. Cro- Does it have a pointed nose? I thought it was a gator too at first, and then, yeah, I figured out it's not. <laughs> but that makes more sense. Crocodiles are more mean, so they're more aggressive. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. Well, I I just the I just said I gotta ask Ray like who are these people? Um, do they do anything in the comics? Like where what are we doing here? And also, I was just really curious why um, him getting pruned sent him here. I assumed it would make him a like TVA worker bee, but I, instead I just thought it killed him. This- yeah, so I guess when you get pruned, you get sent to like a, a dimension where like it's the end of the world. Because you see, like in the background, you mm-hmm. see a, 
Avengers Tower and stuff. So this is a, a some some people were speculating this is a timeline where Tony You're didn't right. uh, didn't stop Save the missile, New and New York is blown up. Uh, so yeah, Kid Loki uh, plays a role in the comic for sure. He got de-aged in the comic, so he, they had Young Avenger, been, right? Uh, I don't know if he was on Young Avengers, but uh, okay. uh, uh, but he yeah, he, it was a big part. I think it was, I forgot what the storyline was, but he, Young Loki played a part. I, I don't recognize the uh, the black guy. Uh, like I said, the uh, the crocodile one uh, could be uh, a reference to Thor, uh, Throg, Frog Thor from the comics. But old man Loki was, uh, which is you know that that's exactly how he looked in the comic when he first appeared, like in the the sixties. And so yeah, and like I said uh, in previous episodes, like Loki was an asshole for the longest time. He was no, there was no redeeming qualities for Loki. Like only in the last past, past like 15, 20 years that they've tried to make Loki. Uh, like a sympathetic kind of like a redeeming uh, redeemable character, but before that he was just a bastard villain. He was just an asshole. So it's cool to see uh, him in his like comic accurate uh, asshole Loki form, like uh, when he first appeared. So that that's uh, that's pretty interesting. So I, I wonder is this, is this where all the Lokis go when they get pruned? Like um, he said, this. I was going to ask. Before. Yeah, like, I was just. More I was recent, just he has yeah. uh, he's had dealings with Lokis before. So this is this where they get sent? Like all there's a whole. Uh, and then we we saw in the previous there was the vote Loki thing where maybe he becomes like the prime Loki in this world like he basically uh, maybe we get a, a time jump maybe get like a couple a few months later and we get to see like Loki's kind of like become the prime Loki of this world uh, through like manipulation whatever what have you because he's very resourceful so uh, yeah so Nick what, what you were saying no I was just gonna say as the first thing I thought was like enter the Loki verse I was like this is dope <laughs> and um, you know. It's good to see him like going into some of the far fetched shit that you know the comics have because there's all kinds of weird alternate storylines. You got a fucking crocodile there. I mean, <laughs> I'm all for it. I'm, yeah, I'm down for. It. Let's see some course. of the, let's see some of this far fetched shit. You got so much source material. I think it's dope to see it on on the big uh, well small screen. Small pretty much feels like a big screen though. Yeah. Uh, so I, I was loving this. I, like I said, enter the Loki verse. I'm ready for it. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Sure, yeah. I kind of don't, I mean, I'm always wrong about this stuff, but I kind of don't think that this is the president one because it doesn't seem like there's very many other people there. This seems pretty desolate. And I feel like the previews for the Loki president, like, it seemed like it was fairly populated. Yeah. Well, this so, is I like, mean, maybe this is just one like, area and they, like, yeah, travel to Missouri and it's mm -hmm. fine, but yeah. Yeah. Nebraska, <laughs> I would go anywhere. So the the whole TVA yeah. is probably like some kind of like limbo purgatory or something. I'm guessing. Yeah, that can be. Yeah, it makes sense. Where it's just still like, think it's in the quantum realm, though. I, I don't know. Or it's just a prison where, like, you know, he uh, uh, can can manipulate the timeline and kind of make it to where he like he's controlling it, and that's why there's a prime a, a prime timeline because that's where he, well, how he wants it because that's when that's the timeline where he rules. So there, therefore, he doesn't want yeah. any di divergence and no uh, alternate timelines. We better get some kind of king. It has to be. They can't do us another Mephisto, can they? It, 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 I, I think we're gonna. I think this is a king thing. I think. I, I think this is gonna. It, it, I don't know if we're gonna see him, uh, but I, I think they're gonna mention him, and he's the one yeah. that's kind of manipulating shit because it, it makes all the sense in the world. Like the Mephisto stuff, yeah, it was kind of. It, it made sense for certain things, but it, it was kind of a reach uh, in certain parts. It was a little bit of reach in ways, yeah. But it, it just. It, it, well, it made sense at the time, but this one makes all the sense. Dude, you deal with the timekeepers. You deal with uh, uh, what's her name, the, uh, the the head head of that. She has involvement. Uh, the timekeepers, the timeline, all this stuff, and you're going to set up the, the next few movies are about the multiverse and timelines and. Uh, Ant Man, he's in Quantum Realm, yeah. Quantum Mania, he's going to be the main villain. That's coming up like in a year and a half. So, uh, I, I think this is. I, I, I'm you know I'm not going to set I'm going to set my expectations low uh, if it's not Kang, but I I think it's pretty much going to you're going to get a, either a mention or a, you're going to get a glimpse of Kang. We might not see his face. You might maybe see the back of him. Maybe you see, just see the mention mentioned Kang the Conqueror, or maybe just they mentioned the Time Conqueror, and you just kind of put two and two together. Is there any backstory in the comics between Loki and Kang? Do they have, like, any kind of beef or interactions at all? Uh, they've, I, I, I think so, yeah. Kang, Kang has had dealings pretty much all, everyone, pretty much, uh, you know, Fantastic Four, Avengers, and yeah, I'm sure Kang, I think if they might have teamed up at some point. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, just trying yeah. to guess where they would be going with with kang and loki but mcu is different so 
We never. Yeah, I was, yeah. I can't. I can't remember any like uh, storyline interactions with them, like uh, as far as the comic goes. So yeah, but the time. Yeah, when you're doing a time like this, it's definitely. Uh, it, it definitely makes sense uh, for Kang to be the one that, that kind of doing. It, it, it's it's got to be Kang. I think it has to be Kang. I think it's. It, it's pretty. And you think. Pretty. You think Renslayer's in on it? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think she she knows what's going on, and she's kind of like trying to keep the peace. You know, she's pre pretty much her uh, his informant, and like, mm -hmm. they have a relationship in the comics, so that may kind of make sense too. It, like you don't pull that like deep cut of a character, like and, and, like mm -hmm. all these timekeeper things. These are deep cut characters in the MCU, so th I think you don't pull all these characters out and not you know have it built to something a little bigger. So it got it kind of yeah. makes. Sense. Yeah. I think yeah. it's Miss Minutes that is working for Kang. <laughs> uh, yeah, we might get a big reveal of Miss Minutes. Like, yeah, she's definitely uh, up to some uh, some shenanigans. Her moment's coming. <laughs> I don't know. I think I think we'll get Miss Minutes, and then we'll find out later that Miss Minutes, Miss Minutes was working for Kang. Hmm. But or he's or like he's, was made by him or yeah, something. He's, her, he's uh, she's her uh, his AI or something like he's her his operating system to like, you know, like manipulate shit and like kind of keep people in check. Yeah, so, man, so Loki is not a Nexus being, but he can cause Nexus events. Right. Well, I think anybody can cause a Nexus event. Like if you're, if you go off the, you know, yeah. the it seems like Nexus. they have like extra powers to be able to cause that shit though. It's, I mean, I could be wrong, but I kind of think that because what, that's what making him the key to all this is when the two of them come together. Mm hmm. Yeah, well, they're, they're not supposed to interact. Like they're not. You're not supposed to. You know. But he's not a Nexus being, though, correct? Yeah. No. No. Well, they haven't said he is in the the show, so he's not. Wasn't the point of being a Nexus being is that you're kind of the same on all the timelines, and clearly he's not. Yeah. True. Well, he's, a, he's a black guy in one timeline, so they, you know. <laughs> he's a crocodile. <laughs> so there is no other Wanda's out there. She's just the same. There's only one, or. Well, it's the same. That's my. Yeah, it's like the same. Is, yeah, Wand is the same in every uh, reality. So okay, I guess I just need a clear, uh, concise definition of a Nexus being. Yeah, they kind of, they kind of, they kind of answered and kind of didn't. So I, I think we're still gonna get some yeah. more answers coming up. But yeah, we got two more. I episodes, would, so. Yeah, I would love like a Venn diagram that was like Nexus <laughs> being Nexus event and like how does this <laughs> cross over? Like how does this all makes sense. Yeah, like a, or a I guess chart. Loki's like a Nexus influencer or something. I don't know. Yeah, like, a, like Instagram influencer, yeah. <laughs> Fuck shit up. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, great episode. Uh, I, I dug the post credit. Man, it just opens up so many things. We only got two more episodes left, so. That's uh, oh, so sad. Yeah, it's so like yeah, this is yeah, but it's good, good, good problems to have. I think we they said they're gonna have a second season. Is that is that confirmed? Yeah, yeah. I think that's what I heard. Yeah, so yeah, nothing, nothing I made on it, but like I, don't yeah, know. I wonder if they're gonna go. Yeah, I, I hope they they'll probably go like a different uh, kind of uh, a vibe to the Loki uh, series. I can't see them kind of like milking this timeline thing unless there's you know uh, unless they don't solve it within the next two episodes, which could you know lead into the second season. But uh, or he has to go back and fix like they do some of the movies in between, and they, you know it's not like a second season like within a year. It's probably like. Maybe two or three years down the road, then he comes back and they have to fix some more shit or something, possibly. The timeline again, especially after all the shit, all the shit that's going to go down the next uh, few, the, the next like few movies in the phase, because you got Spider Man dealing with a uh, supposed time like alternate uh, dimensions. You got Doctor Strange right after that, Multiverse of Madness. Then you got Quantum Mania. Uh, so yeah, I think we're, we're, it's going to be yeah the, the timeline and the alternate the the multiverse is going to be a mess. And I think it's leading up to Secret Wars. I think this is going to be the uh, what's going to lead up to the next like big, 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 uh, you know, Infinity War type event in the Secret Wars in the next like four or five years. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of shit to fucking unpack, man. Uh, yeah, I'm digging this episode. So uh, speaking of uh, uh, digging, uh, Sarah, would you uh, would you grade this episode? I'm bumping mine up a lot, you guys. I think yes or last week I was at eight point seven four. I think is what I did. I, did I bump it down a notch? Yeah, uh, check the records. Uh, I, I had <laughs> what I had last week at eight point seven four. I think you had it at eight point seven uh, seven five. I think. So I just <laughs> okay. Then I I think I'm gonna go all the way up to like a nine point six, like almost a full point more because this was this was a very good episode. It gave us just enough. It left us with some questions. 
it was funny at times. It was surprising at times. It was sweet at times. Like, I really dug it. And, and the only reason I'm not giving it that last point four is uh, just so I have some room for seasons yeah. or episode five and six. Yeah, way, yeah, the way this is going, yeah, I think hopefully they stick the landing. Like some of the shows have not. Oh, but, so, fingers crossed. Yeah, I'm going to give it a nine point three. Uh, give myself a little bit more uh, room for uh, the next couple of weeks, uh, but I, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna get to a ten. Uh, and Nip, going ten. Ten. Nice. Right. Yeah. Do it. You get the. You get Sif. Oldest. You get the Loki variants. You get deaths. You get answers. Mm. Um, it's pretty action packed the whole way through. Get to see the solid ten. I, I yeah. think it's the best episode out of all of them. I think yeah. it's better than any WandaVision episode. I think it's better than definitely better than any Winter Soldier episode. <laughs> Oh, that, yeah. poor Winter, that poor Winter Soldier, that bastard child of this. <laughs> yeah, I get. It. I've been hearing a lot of people complaining too about it lately. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. in it's the kind of underwhelming, man. Like it, that should have been like awesome all the way through. And they, I think they just, just I don't know, they just made a two-hour movie and just like kind of you know condensed it. That's a good idea. Yeah. They should do more of those little one-off shoot, like two-hour movie things. They have Disney Plus. You can do yeah. pretty much anything you want on there. I think that's a plan for some uh, some stuff. Like maybe just do a two-hour movie, get in, get out. You know. You know, there's they're not they don't all have to be like hundred, two hundred million dollar budgets. You know, they just make a nice, you know. Uh, and I think that's where uh, some of the Netflix shows fucked up. The, they the pacing on them was bad. Um, this that would be a smarter move to make some of these like two hour, yeah, two two three hour uh, movies. Yeah, some of those, uh, some of those, yeah, the, the Netflix shows could have easily been you know a couple hours, like six episodes would have been a lot better. But they had to push them all to like thirteen episodes just dragged him out and it was just like some of them were just hard to watch uh just not you know just not fun to watch so you know there was like i'll take there, as many started out good and they just dragged yeah a lot of them Go ahead, i'll take as many bridgerton episodes as netflix will give us thank you <laughs> skip 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 for me <laughs> that guy is hot <laughs> they want him for uh it was like for bond i think they like there was a campaign for him to play the next bond I'm in. Where do I sign? Yes. Should play a young Tony Parker. <laughs> uh, awesome. All right. All right. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, yeah, uh, great episode, uh, fun episode. Uh, yeah, I, I can't wait for next week's. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, yeah. Do you, it's gonna be. A Ray, do you have any? Do you have any predictions for next week, Ray? Other than like overall Kang. Uh, I don't think we're going to see Kang, but I think we're going to see some more of behind the curtain, like what's like what uh, what's the timekeeper like what, what's what, what's the tva actually about like what's their uh what's their actual connection what's the what's their actual point so we're de- i think we're definitely going to see some more of that and i can't wait to i want to explore these various loki's too i can't wait to see these like very i want to i'm i'm super excited about old man loki i want to see uh, old man loki get uh, i want to see his just maniacal evil balls out evil like loki to the like the 20th evil degree like I, no redeeming qualities at all. I just want to see what, how Lo, if Loki just went on his path of just being an asshole, and how bastardly and dastardly he would uh, turn out to be. So that's that's what uh, my biggest uh, uh, like looking forward to thing is. Yeah, old man Loki for sure. Yeah, Richard. Well, Grant, like I said, Richard. Yeah, yeah, Richard, <laughs> yeah, Richard e. Grant is like a fucking uh, uh, a great actor too. He's always he's, anytime he shows up in anything, it's like he's he's a great actor. So. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, seeing what, uh, what happens with that. Awesome. Yeah, what about you? Yeah, I hope we get to hear more about the Lokis. I'm really curious how uh, they're going to get back, because I'm assuming at some point they need to get back to the TVA, right? They need to yeah. solve this problem, not just bounce. So um, maybe that's the president thing. Maybe they, they're they just trying to create variations wherever they are now or like wherever they can get to so that they can get back to the TBA and like get arrested again. I don't know. I don't know if they'll arrest you twice after they've, <laughs> after they've zapped you. Um, but I'm really curious to see how they get out of that and who these people are and um, how they fit in and what, where the, what the heck Sylvie's up to? Like, what's she doing? She's just standing in the room last time we saw, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. She surviving next week. Is she uh, she making it out? Of, uh, she's uh, making it out of the show. I think she's gonna. Uh, I think it'll be. Uh, I I would have said no a couple episodes ago, but I think everybody loves her so much that maybe it's like you're unsure. Like she gets zapped somewhere or like runs away somewhere, and you just don't know what happened to her. Yeah. 
I, I kind of want to see her kind of continue on, but I it, think it, 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 I think it, she it, sneaks out of it. I think yeah. they maybe like hint that she's gonna die, and then she somehow miraculously miraculously escapes. Mm. Yeah. Like, but you maybe she goes off for a few years, and they bring her back later, like somewhere goes into hiding or I don't know some shit. Dagobah, mm-hmm. she goes to Dagobah for a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a lot to unpack. Yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, this, this, I'm definitely excited for the rest of the season. Yeah, two more episodes. Yeah, it's gonna be a hell of a ride for sure. Yeah. We uh, don't have any more coming up after this, do we? Oh no, uh, the Ten what, Rings, right? Uh, what if is coming out? Uh, what if? What if's coming out July? Uh, July at some point, and then yeah, we got Black Widow next week. And then Secret uh, Wars. When is Secret Wars coming? Uh, Secret Invasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think next year. You pulled me. Next year, Sarah. <laughs> Get him. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. "Is it Secret Wars?" Uh, I think Ms. Marvel's coming up this year. Uh, that one doesn't look too good to me. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, it's gonna be more of a kids show. That's more of a like a kid, uh, kitty kind of thing. I'll check. I'll watch it just because it's more. I'll watch, but I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna be down to do a show on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two more, uh, two more episodes left. We'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Sarah's gonna be busy. She's all big time now, so we have to, you know. <laughs> I mean, maybe, we'll get, maybe we can get Miss Minutes to fill in. Yeah. <laughs> Do not. I will never speak to you guys again <laughs> if you bring my rival in. Betrayer. <laughs> Betrayer. <laughs> watch her be like the like like busting up the TVA from the inside or something. Like watch her be the secret hero. <laughs> I would look like such an ass. <laughs> well, we'll see. Right. All right, so let's uh, let's get out of here. Uh, Sarah's got to go back to work. She's working hard and taking her using her break time wisely. Uh, <laughs> uh, Sarah, any uh, any uh, final words before we get out of here? No, nope. no. Just like and comment. You know all the all comment the good stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah, comment. Yeah, what was your favorite part of the episode? Uh, what's uh, your favorite your favorite Loki variant? Uh, Crocodile. <laughs> I'm all about that uh, croc. Yep. Uh, you want to talk about the gold dirties? Yeah, uh, Gold Dirty Bastards, sports-based uh, podcast, uh, a lot of shit talking, a lot of, uh, yeah, in, in-house fighting and uh, stuff like that. But, we, you know, we cover sports in our own, uh, we got our own flavor. Uh, we're a little West Coast biased because I'm a little bit sick of all this East Coast bias that goes on. So <laughs> I figured we swing at the pendulum our way a little bit. And um, you can check us out. We have a YouTube channel. It's uh, Gold Dirty Bastards podcast, and the Bastards is with a Z. And it's the same thing on Instagram as well. Awesome. All right. Uh, so, yeah, check us out every week on Tuesday for the SF Company Hour, just our weekly show. We talk comics, movies, TVs, cartoons, toys, uh, whatever geek culture is coming out this week. We had a fun episode talking about a bunch of movie trailers and Sopranos. such. Sopranos. Uh, Sopranos. The Many Saints of Newark last night. That was good. That's a good trailer. Yeah, and some uh, Halloween kills and new Shang-Chi trailer and stuff. So, yeah, go check that out. Uh, we got some uh, more stuff coming out. I got a, a nice uh, Michael Jordan uh, Mayfex unboxing coming out this weekend, hopefully. And uh, we got some more, some more reviews and some more top tens and all kinds of shenanigans coming. And uh, check out after us next week for episode five of Loki, uh, penultimate uh, episode uh, next week. So that's going to be fun. Uh, we'll let you know ahead of time about the time. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, so, yeah, check us out. Like, subscribe, uh, all that crap uh, helps with the algorithm. The algorithm when you like the video, uh, sends it out uh, to the, the right people. So uh, check us out. And look out for more cool content. And uh, thanks for joining us. And we'll see you guys next time. Intro.